A school lab is cause for concern calling a bomb disposal unit into action in firefighters at half past eight here on one. Now though, Sarah has reasons to raise the alarm in Shortland Street. You leave Sarah out of it. Oh, never mind. I'm sure Henry will show me a good time. I'd love to call the TAB on the way over. Point taken still in the race. Don't do it. Yes, hello. Can I have the number for Fundo Police Station? Mrs. Rupa's wound site and get her referred to physio. You couldn't titrate Mr. Tuvali's insulin infusion, could you? I would, but Mr. Yu's been transfused to second unit of blood and his temperature spiked to 38. Oh, so pass the ball to the house surgeon. I have paged her, but until she turns up, I am on 15 minute obs. Meanwhile, Mrs. Jones wants to be transferred to a new ward because, oh, wait for it, the woman in the next bed is knitting too loudly. Oh, I might be able to talk her around. Hey, any chance that you can. Sorry, no, can do it. Let's just make a run for it. How about I dump these files? You create a distraction. What, like firebombing Frankenstein's monster in there? This whole mess is all her fault. Okay, Helga. Either you find Mrs. Jones a new bed, or you convince her to take up crochet as a counterattack. Oh. Hold on. Off to get my roots done. Do it yourself. At least one of us still has a sense of humor. Get the feeling I won't have it for much longer. I've just come from the cop shop, you nut. Right in here. Remember when we were 12? Cutting our fingers and doing the whole Blood Brothers thing? I never thought you'd turn around and stab me in the back. I gave you a chance to come clean. You didn't take it. It was one more race. I was going to be in the clear. There would have been more money for back in Samoa. If you'd left it alone, I could have gone straight. Look, we both know that never would have happened. Okay, so save the South Pity and try feeling sorry for the people you ripped off. <laughs> Listen to you, Mr. Holy. I'm now. trying to help you, Henry. By sending all my good work for our people down the toilet? And what about Sarah? This could hurt her business too. Without me and my rent, it's going to be harder. Sarah's a survivor. If she knew that you've been lying and cheating innocent people, she wouldn't want what you had to offer, Henry. I'm not the only one lying and cheating. You dobbed me in at the same time you're planning your next bet and your next cover story for Sarah. It's not the same thing. No. Because I had a choice about what I was doing. I decided the end made it all worthwhile, but you, you've got no choice because you are a pathetic addict. So don't you dare think you're better than me. Well, I'm seeing <clears throat> spaghetti on toast or beans on toast. And I think I can even offer you, yes, I can, a piece of very well-aged cheddar to grate on top. Delicious. Mmm. Which option will get Ruben's big tick for? I haven't got tick. Mm. Sorry, guys. Maxwell was supposed to shop. But I can always order something from the IV. Oh, thanks. But I ate at work, and I'm going back in for a stock take soon. So go crazy. Order something completely folate free. Mm. Well, do you want me to come with you? Because I could help you get through it faster. You're not too tired. <laughs> for you? Never. Hmm. Just remember that promise when you've been up all night with a crying baby. Sorry, sorry. Wrong moment for a reality check. Uh, I've had as much reality as I can handle today. Because the reality is, no job equals no flat. Which equals staying put with Dad and being treated like I'm the baby who can't feed herself. Ah, here he is. The man who left us to starve. Yeah, that's my fault too. Put it on the list. You're right. I said I'd shop. Are you okay? In a hard day. Uh, Mrs. Petrov seems fine after the fall in the shower, but we still need to let her family know what happened. Right, on to it. Uh, the new grad nurse has had four attempts at replacing Mr. Tupu's IV cannula. She's starting to look more frightened than he is. I'll do my best. Finally, my marathon drug round is over. A mere 12 hours since I started work. Any luck with Mrs. Jones? I found her a bed in Ward 7, not a knitter amongst them. So does that mean we can go home now, or do we have to get her on our knees and beg Helga first? You know, I think she'd like that. Is the attitude necessary? The system isn't the enemy, you know? 
If your best staff went elsewhere for shifts because a machine decided they weren't needed, you'd have attitude too. Especially if you were left doing the work of three people. OK, I'm listening. What problems has Helga thrown up that you haven't managed to solve? We've solved them all with plenty of blood, sweat and... Well, if there haven't been any emergencies, the system is working. <sighs> Spoken like a true management stooge. You know, I think Rachel and Helga are related. <laughs> As nurse manager, I can't condone that statement. But the likeness is uncanny. Let me just check tomorrow's projections and then we are out of here. What? Can't turn Helga on. Hmm. Why don't you try that thing you do, you know, when you run your hands? No, I mean it. I'm gonna have to call IT. You go. You'll be here forever if I don't stay to drag you away. Let's just hope IT can sweet talk this monster. Well, here's an achievement. I've been knocked back by every single computer-related business in central Ferndale. So widen the search. What about those mobile phony geek outfits? Well, I'd need a car for call-outs. You could get a scooter or a push bike. <laughs> if we're going to spend money on transport, it'll be something that carries three people. And it's not like you can strap a baby seat onto handlebars. OK. Forgot. Finding a car's not a priority anyway. Finding a flat is. So, unless you want to end up in one of our parents' spare rooms... Yeah, I'll get a job. If it's in South or West Ferndale, we can move. So, I'd have to commute here? No, you won't be working here. Not when the baby's due or afterwards. It's not as if our lives aren't going to change, you know. Thanks, but I'm getting enough lectures already. And aren't you meant to be helping? Well, I'll do the glasses. OK, thanks for that. See you soon. Right, takeaways will be ready in 15 minutes. I hope you feel better once you've eaten. Hmm. I won't. Because? It must be more than a hard day in ED. You have those all the time. Henry's rent check is going to bounce, babe. I'm serious. Why? What's going on? He's been running a major racket with his horses, scamming investors and stealing from them, but now he's been busted. And you knew this was happening for how long? I, I only found out for sure yesterday. I gave him a day to hand himself in, but he wouldn't do it. So, I had to do it. You called the police? Well, what about Henry's outreach clinic and all the other good works? Was that just... was that just window dressing to reel in suckers like me? No, he helped a lot of people. But then, when he went broke, the only way he could carry on helping people was by scamming the better off some tens of thousands of dollars. How could he do that? You know, I had a bad feeling about him right from the start, and I only took him on because you said because that Because I made you trust him. Because I trusted him. I've known him all my life. I loved him like a brother and now. And now he's hurt you. And he disgusts me for that more than anything. Spot me a few hundred. Enough to give me a room when I land. You owe me that much. I owe you nothing. Hey? You robbed me blind, Kieran, and you pulled the plug before I had a chance to make up my losses. I played you at your own game, no more than that. So what am I meant to do? I have no idea. You really don't give a damn, do you? No. But I will give you this advice for free. If the cops are on to you, best get going. By tomorrow, it might be too late. You'll get yours. If there's any justice, you will. I'll check on your order. Leave you two to say goodbyes. Nice well, time for a holiday. Going somewhere sunny? You really want to know? What, you think you'll make it without getting picked up at the airport? It depends whether you're narc again. You enjoyed it so much the first time. Once was more than enough for me, Henry. A pass still counts for something, then. I guess Sarah thinks I'm scum. She doesn't like what you did. Cheating, lying, stealing. Or what you might have been planning to do with their business. Nothing. I never would have ripped off a place like that. Can you tell her that for me, please? I'll tell her. Um, I'm sorry, Russell.
So has the techie figured out why Helga's talking? Uh, apparently the server was disconnected briefly, which made the program relaunch in sleep mode. Sleep mode? I'd like to try that myself. Mm. Andrew is trying to retrieve today's data input. If he can, we can go. And if he can't? No luck. Which means I have to input the data manually. Sorry about that. <sighs> Not half as sorry as I am. Who cares? We have instant coffee, we have data to input. Let's party. This is a one-person job. I don't mind staying. Three's a crowd. Helga and I haven't had much quality time together lately. He is mine, OK? And don't you bleep and forget it. Sleep well. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, but you should have. Henry snobbed fishy from the start, dodging rental payments, leaving his office bed. Did you look into his background at all? With the benefit of hindsight, I I'm should... beginning to think you're a poor judge of character. First you hire Wendy. The jury's still out on that one. And now this fraudster. I hired you, remember? Well, unlike the other two, I can be counted on. Yeah, to find fault with everything I do. Well, if you weren't being such a Pollyanna, I might be able to get... We need to focus on damage control. Henry Makosua's name is on a signage brochures. Yeah, I've already called the sign writer to order a new one. They said we can leave a space for another name. And who shall we get next? A, a kleptomaniac chiropractor? A, a physio who moonlights as a peeping Tom? I think we should return to the original plan of a third GP. I agree. So, I've drafted an ad to post on medical websites, and this time I will make my choice carefully. Ruben? Only if you run a compulsory police check. Agreed. Let's put this mess behind us, OK? And we can still make this work. Um, touch that and you won't be touching me anytime soon. It is that day off, remember? True. <clears throat> what time did you get in? Oh, about two, I think. Oh, I'm back to sleep then. That is an order. But I didn't touch the phone, so... Does that mean I can? <laughs> oh, ignore it. I'm in fact, flush it down the toilet. Uh, it's the hospital. So? Scotty, Maya, what's the problem? Wrong number. Goodbye. Sorry. What's up? OK, we'll be right there. Uh, Helga's requesting two more nurses. And so you volunteered for both of us? I shouldn't have done that, should I? Without asking me first. No, you shouldn't have. Oh, I'll call her back and tell her it's only me. So I can lie in bed feeling like the world's most selfish girlfriend. That'll be fun. Oh, we can't keep doing this. There must be a way of getting rid of Helga. I wish. So far, she seems unstoppable. Well, this is way out of left field. But it's amazing. Yeah. Hey, thanks for thinking of me. I'll get hold of them today. Yep. OK, cheers. Bye. Oh, 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 I've got a headache. Well, this will make it all better. I just doubt it. So that was my IT lecturer, Stu. And he's been contacted by a firm looking to recruit entry-level staff. And he thought of me. Oh, really? Yeah. That's great. Is it local? Well, well not exactly. You know how we're talking about me needing a car for work? Yeah. Well, before that, I'd need a plane. <laughs> the company's in Indonesia. Indonesia? Yeah, in Jakarta. And, and the job pays well, but most importantly, there's, there's scope to move up in the ranks over the next few years. What? Well, hang on. Years? Yeah, it's a mind bend, I know. But this could be just what we need, you know, to build a future for us and for the baby. Wow. Indonesia. Yeah. It's huge. I know. <laughs> Have you heard the radio? I mean, the breaking news about horse race doping scandal. Yeah, I came over hoping to find you. Well, I've tried calling Henry, but his phone's off. He couldn't be in on us, could he? Isaac, he is it. <sighs> and it gets worse. I just had to reach out to the police. Turns out Henry sold third chairs and point taken to 20 people or more. He used the old lolly to keep his punters happy while he found new buyers to scam. 
You know when you see a jockey get thrown off mid-race and plowed into the turf? That might feel a bit like this. <laughs> do I have easy mark written on my forehead or something? Mate, I guess we both do. Well, you look as queasy as I feel. I take it you've heard? Yeah. When did you find out? Sorry, I'm not suggesting you let your mates get done over by a crook. Not just my mates. Between you and me, I was Kieran's silent partner. Yeah? Yeah, he put in 20 grand and that was all gone. And Sarah? She doesn't know. And I like to keep it that way. Well, I guess there's nothing more to say. You live and learn. I need a coffee. Oh, I think he's taking it rather well. You're completely bloodless, aren't you? Some of the money that you extorted from me, Henry, belongs to Isaac, and some of it is mine. Oh, well, you did say you were trying to kick the gambling. Maybe you can chalk us up to an expensive case of aversion therapy. I'm kidding, big man. I was going to give you money back. Isaac's, however, a mark to fall away under collateral damage. Well, you call it what it is, betraying your friends. You're no friend of mine. If this is a surprise party, I could sure go some cake. Breakfast was kind of rushed. It's not a party. Then what is it? Well, nothing yet, but Helga's predicting a major emergency soon. Look. This can't be right. That would take a train crash or a stadium exploding. Don't even say those things out loud. How many patients are on the ward now? Eleven, quieter than usual. What's going on? Oh, I was going to call you after handover. If Helga's right, we've got some serious casualties coming our way. So far, her predictions have been spookily accurate. Except when they're not. And when they're not, someone's usually got a lot of explaining to do. Indonesia? Or, or what, like a short-term contract before you're due? No, he's talking a few years at least. I'd have the baby there. We wanted to travel before I got pregnant. Immersing ourselves in a foreign culture will be so much less superficial than the whole tourist thing. The baby could even grow up bilingual. You are really brave to consider it, but give some thought to how hard this could be. I've talked to so many women who felt isolated at home all day with a new baby. Well, I looked it up online, and there's a big expat community with mums and bubs yoga classes and all kinds of stuff. Half of those expat mothers have rich diplomat husbands and nannies on tap. Great for when the baby's nappy springs a leak right in the middle of yoga. This is the only job offer Daniel's had, and we need an income. Look, I'm sure I'll get used to it. I might have to. You don't have to do anything. It's your life. Look, I'm not saying that you couldn't do it, but in seven months, you guys are going to find yourselves in completely different territory, no matter where you're living. You and Daniel need to talk this through very carefully. I just hope that Daniel's news is better than everything else we've heard in the last 24 hours. Hey, there he is. Dad! Hey. Hey, I got your text. What's the big news? Oh, well, Lauren wanted us to tell you guys together tonight. But it's too cool to wait. We're moving to Indonesia. I got offered a job there. Are you serious? Yeah. Tell him he's being ridiculous. You're going to have a tiny baby. Indonesia has typhoid, malaria, cholera, anthrax. Congratulations. Must be a real boost. Yeah, it was. Thanks for the support. Well, what about Lauren? What support is she going to have? Well, she'll have me. For a few hours a day, yeah, but the rest of the time she's just going to have a baby and, and piles of dirty washing for company. I'm trying to be a responsible parent. But what would you know about that? I asked for that, didn't I? Well, they might change their minds. Mm, you so don't need our dramas. I don't need to wallow either. Well, you're not going to get over Henry just like that. Why not? It wasn't the Henry I thought I knew. It turns out he's a stranger. Well, as for Kieran, why well, he'd sell his own grandma if he didn't make enough on the deal. You are an honest person, and you expect other people to be the same, but unfortunately, not everyone is as good as you. Found anything? Uh, no. And can't someone else do this? Why not you? Because the last time you made me do this, Daniel got fired. And if someone else gets the chop, I'm really going to be the smelly kid. Welcome to my world. How far through are you? 
Well, I've done all the virus checks, and now I'm going through the data line by line. It's a thrilling read. Yeah, I'm loving this too. My choice is admit Helga screwed up and send the extra nurses home, or pay them, and the nursing budget will go through the roof. Uh, hold on. I think Helga might be in the clear. Look at this. This admission chart shows 11 surgical patients, but according to our resident Scandinavian milkmaid, we have 111 people on our surgical wards. Looks like someone was typing too fast. That's one explanation for it. Thank you for your attention to detail, Gerald. I wish everyone shared your high standards. Hmm. How cool will it be for the baby growing up in a country with monkeys and tigers? I saw a photo online of this guy pulling a monkey along by a chain in Jakarta. It looked terrified. So you've got an animal welfare project already. You'll be in your element. But you said it yourself. Our life will change so much with this baby. Surely adding a whole heap of other changes feels like asking for trouble? Well, turning down the only decent job off I've had seems like asking for trouble too. You, know, you think a chance like this will just come along again? I know this is an amazing opportunity for you. And I don't want to spoil that. You know I don't. Are you saying I have to turn the job down? I'm just not sure I can handle all of this. <sighs> well, we won't go. No, you being happy is the most important thing. Really? 11, 111. I'm sorry, but it was one tiny slip-up. It was a very costly slip-up. And why should I believe you? This isn't the first time the system has been deliberately sabotaged. Are you suggesting I did this on purpose? I've heard plenty of complaint from you since Helga was launched. For good reason. I made this mistake after working for 16 hours straight. I don't need excuses. Unless management sets an example, the other staff will continue to reject the innovation. What's innovative about cutting staff to protect the bottom line? Hospital bureaucrats have been doing that for years. Are you officially refusing to show your support for Helga? That's right. I'd rather resign than support a system that could be catastrophic to staff and patients. Come on. You're above petty threats like that. It's not a threat. It's a promise, which makes it your call. Helga or me. Gay Byrne meets Rory O'Neill, a.k.a. Panty Bliss, as he discusses his life in drag and tackles some of the bigger questions in the meaning of life. That's Sunday night here on 1 at 25 to 11. Stay with us now, though, for Doctors, next.